This game is rated E10 for ages 10 and up. For more information, please go to ESRB.org. Hello everyone, KV here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest V Blind. On the last episode, well, now that Nero's back in the party, we got our equipment. And then I just dawdled around about for a good, you know, ten or so minutes, because I wasn't sure what we needed to do. But now I have a better idea of what we need to do, and it has something to do with, uh... Uh, not... Sorry, Maddie. Not don't need to talk to you right now, but thank you for being a dear. Okay, so I was right. Something of Lofty Peak. So going to Lofty Peak was the right move. What I need to check now is a few things. They gave a hint about this, I think, back in Gotha, but I didn't catch on to it because I am bad at picking up on vague hints. This is not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go heal. That, that is the church. Alright, how, how, how steep is it? Eh, not, uh, I mean, we w wasted a lot of money, so it's kind of steep, but whatever, I'm, I'm going to take it. So, the hint they gave us is basically saying, hey, if you have these items, then you're good. And the items we need are... The Circle of Fire, the Circle of Life, and I think the Circle of Water... Yes, okay. So basically, the rings that Nira and I exchanged when we got married, and also my mother's wedding ring, I guess. Yeah, so I would never figure this out. We apparently need to go on this boat and go back into the cave? Like, I don't know how I would have figured that out. Like, maybe there's some NPC that would have given better hints about it, but... Not that I know of. And hey, we can at least get some experience. Nira needs experience, so this works out. And hopefully these shouldn't be too bad. Yeah, these should be too bad for uh, the rest of the party. So for me and the kids. So that way Nira can get experience, which she desperately needs. And yes, I'm keeping her in the party. I know that seems like very dumb since she's, you know, very low level compared to everyone else. But uh, I want to have her in the party, okay? I love her. Okay, I mean, yeah, that, that 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 part sucks, but, you know, it's fine. Now, I hope it doesn't want us to give up the specific items, because the Circle of Life is really useful, and it heals you after you take damage, so... I did not know... Okay. So, uh, yeah, um... About everything... Yeah, I'm glad I would... I, I guess, here's my question. Would you have rather had me dilly-dallying around for probably a good four or five episodes, or me figuring it out? And by figuring it out, I mean me checking, because I had no idea there was a place, to, there was a little place here in this cave. I didn't know that. I thought the cave was just water. So that that's actually a surprise to me. But yeah, this is apparently where we need to go. Good, good to know. Okay, these guys are being very silly. Okay, and they're all gone now. So hooray. Sure. The wagon's full, though. So he goes to Mon... Uh, he, he's going to Monty. Yeah, he's... Pat by Jelly. So... We can open this door. Okay, what's this? God statue has both arms uh, outstretched as if it were to be waiting to be given. Oh, I have to give up the rings, don't I? Okay, so if I go to my items and then use, yep. Okay, that's what we have to do. Items, Nira. As much as this is really useful, use. Can I take them back when I'm done? Oh, right. Me items use. So, how would you have figured that out? Like, what? Where else would you go in the game to get a hint? Okay, if I take it out, does that... 
Is that the straight of the portal? Yes, it does. Well, dang it. Okay. I thought so I put it in the bag. I did. Alright. So we have to give these up. Well, that sucks. I got enough money to get more equipment, so I did check over to get better equipment. So, I mean, not that I have much of a choice. It's... I don't have money for it, really. So... Uh, prayer ring. Curse an MP whenever it's used. Uh, transfer. Uh, yeah, she can't really use it. It's not actually an equipable item. So, how about... Uh... What the heck are these? I don't know what these are. They're like claw thingies. Oh, silver tiara. Okay. Oh, that's right. She has the wedding veil, which is better. Never mind. Is does this... Nope. Uh, Hermes hat. Nope. Uh, she can't use the magic shield. I gotta have something in here. Iron claw, no. Rebel Serenity. Nope. Hey, some other kind of accessory I have that could that could work. No, nope, that's a headgear thing, so it does, that doesn't work. Meh, meh, meh. How, how about boxer shorts? No, that's just that's just an item. Hmm. Well, she can have the leather shield. It's not worth much, but she can at least use it. Uh, I guess let's check other shields then. So she can use some shields, just not all shields. Weird that she can't use the magic shield for some reason. Can she use this? This is probably a cursed item. Uh... Yeah... Wait, wait. Okay. You can use this. How about, uh, do we have other iron shields? We have bronze shields. Can she use iron shield? Okay, so how about I give the maxi metal <laughs> to Sancho? Because apparently it's a shield that Sancho only can use. What's What the heck is that? Runa's shield? I'll take that too while I'm at it. Okay. And then... Go to Sancho's items. Runa's shield. Okay, you can't use that. Uh, and then the item we just put in the bag... Is... The iron shield. No, she can't. Okay. Okay, well, she she has she has leather shield at least. Okay, that that's good, right? That's good? Well, what's behind here, anyways? Oh, you know, just teleportal thingy. Uh, I, I, I'm feeling a little bit scared here. Don't worry, sis. I'll look after you. I know, Perry. Dad, this place has got a really scary feel to it. So we're finally here. You can tell this is the beginnings of the underworld from the sinister feeling in the air. Okay. Out of nowhere, the party hear a voice. Oh my gosh, Mata? KV, already you have found your way to this dark and treacherous place. My dear KV, you have grown to be bigger and stronger than I had ever imagined. I will no longer to ask you to turn back. From now on, I trust the powers that you so clearly possess. And I will do all I possibly can to be of assistance to you. I would like you to accept this gift from me. 
I wish of all the luck in the world, KV, my son. Okay, what is it? Great, what is it? A glittering stone f uh, falls at KV's feet. It's the Sage's Stone, okay. What does it do? Okay, items. What 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 is? Oh, this rock restores some of each party member HP in battle. Transfer. Give this to Maddie. Perfect. Because then she can do healing. Okay, cool. I like that. Uh, did this go out. Oh. Well, this is uh interesting. So this is not over here. I had no idea it was such a wild-looking place. What a lonely-looking place. It's totally different to our world, don't you think? Look, Dad, the map's changed. <laughs> yes, it sure has. Alright, how tough are the enemies here? Because we might basically be doing grinding for a bit, I think. And I'm not... I'm okay with that. I'm not sure if you all are okay with that, but we'll see how that goes, huh? All right, uh... Now it's Snooze. Snooze the Great Dragon. Uh, Maddie, how about you? Yeah, just just do boom and parry. Attack. Yeah, we'll attack... Uh, Pazazu. Pazuzu. Pazuzu. Okay. Well, that didn't work. Yeah, if this looks like what I think it is, it might basically just be the time where we need to get some experience and need to get it badly. Especially if it's gonna do that, that's not great. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, great. Okay, cool. This is... I'm glad we got that blade for Nira. And... Okay, cool. Perry's still alive. Good. Okay, can we just gang up on it really quick? Uh, nope. Okay, so, uh, now I need to actually, uh, full heal parry, magic, uh, cast bounce on yourself, items, use that, and magic, full heal your mom. Okay, that, that item's really helpful. Oh my, eh, the entire party. Okay. Wow. Okay, that's actually a very good item. Holy cow. Alright, then uh, just keep using that. Um, yeah, we'll attack again. Yeah, that's, a, that's a super good item. So then our reserve party essentially is great too. And our, I, our reserve party I trust as well. Now let's see if we can get rid of this before it comes back up. Okay, well, I was hoping Bounce would work on that, but apparently not. Alright, cool. So, whip begins. <laughs> You're level 20. And yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Learns Frizzle. Fantastic. Probably leveling up again. Oh, Maddie at level 30. Okay, that's good. Okay, very good. Kakrackle. Sancho level 28. Okay. And he learned whack. Ooh. So, here's my question now. Can I zoom? So the closest place we can zoom to is Lofty Peak. We always have to go through Lofty Peak to get here. Can I zoom back to Gotha? Okay. Yes, I can. What we'll probably do is we're going to get further in the map after I heal. Yes. And uh, it'll probably be best to do that because, what? Well, yeah, at this point, I'm sorry to say it, we need to grind a little bit. I know it's not super interesting. I know that can be done off screen, but... Uh, I feel like I've cheated in a, f a few times here and there by what I've been, how I've been handling some things, but, uh, 
yeah, this definitely is uh, where it's going to end, I think. Not the episode, mind you, but, like, the game itself. Didn't realize I was going to be this... Okay. Boat? Boat? Let, just, just, just go up. Just go up. That's all I need you to do, Boat. That's all I need you to do. We can get a little experience as we go back there. So I, I think what we need to do is we need to find an area in uh, Nutteria and hope that we can uh, get the uh, zoom there, I guess. Okay, there we go. Oh, who got level? Who got experience? Level up. Chromio got level thirteen. Fantastic. All right, all right. What was in the chest? Uh, blood mail. Yay! Because that's what we want. A suit of armor that is covered in blood. So this will at least help us go, like, this will, like, get some of the miscellaneous experience that we needed after, like, a big fight like the one we just had in Nadaria. So that way we can keep you in levels. So, yeah. I think it will be best if we get to, like, at least a little 40. I know it's going to take a while, but I think that would probably be the best. Now, I can do some of it off-screen. That's not the issue. The issue is basically how long it's going to take. And uh, how I want to go about it. Because I, I don't know if I'm going to discuss... Like, this is the problem when it's a blind let's play for me. Especially if it's an RPG. I don't know what I'm going to discover on my own. And I don't want to deprive that from the blind LP. Because I want to have that on record. So if I'm just... Messing around this one small spot of Nauteria. I mean, not ideal, but I guess I could do that for grinding purposes. But let's see. I'll see if I can find some other areas on the map in Nauteria that would uh, take us other places. So first things, I think, uh, I think it has to be. You have to go the entire length of the map to get to the last area. And the question then is, is that last area a place we can zoom to? If we can zoom there, then perfect. I have my entire setup ready for uh, grinding. If we can't, then it's going to be a bit more of a pain in the butt. And these guys aren't as bad as the dragons, so... I mean, Crackle's annoying, but not the worst thing in the world. Hey, got some experience. Got near level 21. This is perfect. We're... Uh, getting her up in levels already, and I'm happy for that. Try uh, Kamikaze, uh, Kamikaze Bracer. Kam Kamikaze Bracer. Well, thank you. Sorry. Yeah. Now, here's a question. Okay. You can't do that outside of battle. Alright. You can only use it inside battle. Alright. Oh, this is a maze. Okay. So, I have to be committed if I'm going down this direction. Attack, magic, uh, let's go with Frizzle, magic, boom, and attack. Let's see how bad the damage is from them. Pretty bad, pretty bad. Okay. Fight, I'll fight. Uh, magic. Let's have you heal yourself at the very least. Items, use that. And then attack. Gets rid of that. Ev everyone gets... Everyone... <laughs> Alright. Not too bad. Those dragons are the problem, but they're also a good source of EXP. So, luckily the top map basically... Whoa, what is that? What is that? Oh, some killing machines! Hey there! I'm not happy to see you, mind you. You're using the most obnoxious things to deal with. But hey, it's a familiar enemy. <gasps> shush, shush, shush! Luckily, they're, they're going down pretty easily, so that's not bad. And that should be another level for Nira, I think. Oh no, Perry at level 30 now. Fantastic. Alright. Good, good, good. Multi-heal. Oh, Perry. My boy. My boy, Perry. 
Spiked armor. Okay, cool. Wow, we're getting a lot of freebies now. So, uh, thanks, game? Okay, what is this? Oh, well, I found a place to explore. Wahoo! Wahoo! I finally turned into a gooman! I hope my friend Rocket turns into a gooman soon, too. I did not know that this game had a tie-in with Rocket Slime. Sorp. Hi! Okay, there is, a, there is an inn. It's expensive! So no! What's back here? Okay, this town. What in the world is this? What do you get? What do you have? Flame armor. Okay, so oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, cool. So there will be definitely a point to grinding because there is uh, stuff to get that's very good, and I would very much appreciate it. Hello. You can't see it because it's on top screen. Sorry, but like all all this stuff is really good. I would love to have this. Okay. Um, here's the bank. Here's a mini metal. I'm also, like, nervous that, like, something bad's gonna happen here. Uh, I'll, I'll draw that later. Hello. What do you have here? Musk. It's set will track monsters. Oh, well, okay, so that might actually be good for, uh, grinding. Elf and Charm, and if you have this, that gives, uh, pesky spells a hard time to hit home. Okay. Doesn't really up anything, it's just nice to have. No, I'm good, thank you, though. Okay, so there should be a armor shop as well. What is this place? This is the weapon shop, actually. Oh, oh that's not actually as good as what I have, so never mind. Uh, Blizzard Bane. Nope, not as good. That, that's good for Sancho. But this is good. The Staff of Resurrection. It's good for me. Wait, wait, no. It's bad for me. Never mind. I can't read the zeros. I thought it said eight. I was wrong. Never mind. All of these are terrible. So we don't have to worry about that, at least. So that's good. Okay, can someone explain what this place is? This is, uh, Precaria, the only town in the whole of, N of Nadaria. Okay, but what is Precaria? Grandmaster Nimzo lives to the north of Precaria at the summit of the great Mount Zigzwang. He is almighty! Even the so-called legendary hero will be powerless in his presence. I may be human now, but Grandmaster Nimzo remains my master. I will be loyal to the endgame. These people are gonna kill me. You look pretty young. Bet you were staggered to find a town a place like this, eh? Yeah. The water around here is holy water, you see. Brought here from the human world by the great... Ahem, excuse me, the great uh, Madalena. Oh, if it wasn't for her, we wouldn't even be here. She saved us from a precarious fate. Okay, so there's some monsters here, there's some not monsters here. Ooh, we don't see the... Uh, ooh, we don't often see the likes of you around here. Surely you're not from the human world, are you? No, that can't be right. You're one of us, aren't you? Saved from your monstrous heart by Madeleine's super power. Yes, you make a fine hum- Ahem, I mean a fine human. I bet you wouldn't believe it looking at me now, but I used to be a rector, you know. It was all hellfire and brimstone back then. But thanks to Madalena, I'm a balanced, well-rounded individual now. A bit too well round to be truth told, and I think as a priest, I always thought gluttony was a sin. Interesting. So these were all formerly monsters who have been transformed by holy water thanks to Madalena. Huh. What a strangely shaped town! It looks a bit like the flower when you see it from a distance. I never imagined there'd be a town here in Nadaria. That was the last thing I expected. It's good to find a town like this. The monsters are really strong around here, so we could do with a rest. Yeah, and uh, I guess most importantly, before I score any more, can I zoom here? Yes, I can. Perfect.
Good. So I can keep doing my plan of go to Gotha to heal. So what else is what else is going on here? What? No, I'm not drinking any booze. A sin like that will turn me back into a monster again, and I'm not going to go back down that road. You want something to drink? Maybe you better not. Or you'll end up regretting it like the man by the watermill. Okay. I don't know how much longer Madeleine can continue to keep Nimzo in check. Oh. The spark of her life is growing weaker all the time. That much I do know. Something must be done, and quickly. Alright, hey! We got a TNT ticket for all those TNT boards we still need to do. You know, if there's a TNT board here in Nauteria, I'm gonna laugh. Alright, so here's... This is the watermill, I take it. There's... You can't see if there's stuff hidden over here, so I'm taking it. You can kind of see it. Alright, there's the Musifer up there. I'm not sure if I should talk to him. Hey, look, another TNT ticket for all those TNT games I don't need to play anymore. <laughs> shush, shush, shush. Ooh, a Cedar Resilience is good, though, so we'll hang on to that for a moment. Hey there! Do you have any regrets about your life? Ah, uh, sometimes. Then you must have this. It's the Amulus Repetinium, a book of tales from Beccaria. Kavir receives the Anellum Retinium. And puts it in the bag, of course. There once was a man who wanted to become a god, but many, many years ago, his evil heart turned him into a monster. The holy people of Lofty Peak set out to drive this evil from within him, but it had betrayed his very soul. In the end, they were powerless to help him, and he never returned to his human form. I, get, I take it that's probably Grandmaster Nimzo. I didn't know there was a door here. Hello. Strike light, you wouldn't found me. That don't mean you're getting the treasure, I nabbed. Okay, well, we'll beat this guy up, I guess. A merry man appears. <laughs> a merry man appears. Ominous backgrounds. Okay, I'll attack. Magic. Uh, do you look a frizzle on? Uh, yeah, frizzle. And I just use the item. And actually, Perry, you should probably use that new spell you have. Perfect. Perfect. Apologize, this episode's going on for a bit long, but I didn't realize. Well, now that I know there's a place here, we'll probably do some more exploring in the next episode before I get down to the grindy tactics that I'm thinking I'm doing. I'm going to be doing. But we'll see. Maybe things will go a lot more easier than I'm thinking. All right, so I beat that guy up. What's in the, what's in the chest? A st a stolo staff. What the heck is that now? Uh, well, it's not good for anyone. It can also be used as a tool in battle. I don't know, I don't know what it is, so sorry. Okay, well, we, we saw that, I guess. All right then. Well, I did not know there would be such a nice, pleasant town here in Nadaria. But hey, we have a place to zoom to. Which is helpful, so next time we'll explore more of Nadaria and try to kind of learn more about what's going on. We have that book to examine too, so we'll probably look at that as well. However though, for now, thank you so much for watching this episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest V Blind. We are definitely in the endgame now. And uh, I'm looking forward to it, so I'm kind of curious how long it's going to take us to get there, but I'm sure the last dungeon is going to be a pain in the butt. I know the, the last dungeon in Dragon Quest games tend to go on for a while. <laughs> so hopefully we can be prepared for that. If you like to see as far as the game goes, you can pick it up. It's on very many different consoles and systems on mobile devices too. It's probably coming, probably getting more ports later on. I don't know when specific specifically, but it probably will be soon. Highly recommend it because uh, it's fantastic, and other Dragon Quest games are great as well. So go give it a play if you can. Most importantly though, please have a wonderfully great day, and I will see you all on the next one. Until then, ciao.